Hello guys, this is a quick comparison video between the iPad Air and the iPad 4. So the iPad Air is currently on iOS 10.0.2 and the iPad 4 is on iOS 10.3.3. Now the iPad 4 has got a 32-bit A6 chip and the Air has got the A7, which is Apple's first 64-bit chip. Now, let's do a few apps here. So let's start with App Store. Three, two, one, go. Looks like the iPad Air loaded that way faster. <laughs> Going home seems even, pretty much. Let's try Google. Three, two, one, go. Again, iPad Air loaded that first. And let's try a... A stock app like tips. Three, two, one, go. Tips, can't get tips. tips. Try again later. So the iPad Air seemed to not display anything, but still loaded it faster. Tips, tips. And the Action. other main difference is the they both have got lightning ports. So there's the one on the air, and then here's the one on the four, and they're both the same storage capacity, I believe, but one of the other differences, I believe, is the camera. So the Air, I think it's got the same camera as the iPhone 5S, apart from the fact that it hasn't got slow-mo and a burst mode where you hold down the camera button to say photo. And the iPad 4, I think it's got the same camera as the iPhone 5. So that is just a quick over. In terms of network, oh, or... oh. I don't know. Double news. Double tap to open. So, I'll just do a quick uh, network speed test between the two. So, so let's start with the Double iPad Air first. Go. Starting ping test. Ping result: seventeen milliseconds. Two point nine milliseconds jitter. Testing download. Download result: one hundred and four megabits per second. Testing upload. Upload result, 45.5 megabits per second, 0% loss. Test so all of those numbers no. are actually quite quick. And then if we compare that to the iPad 4 Starting here, let's see what numbers this can give us. Ping result, 17 milliseconds, 6.9 milliseconds jitter. Testing download. Upload result, 20.3 megabits per second. Testing upload. Upload result, 24.2 megabits per second. 0% loss. So you can see there's quite a difference considering they're connected to the same network and 
I think the same server as well. So that's just a quick sort of comparison video comparing the two. There will be more to follow between the iPhone 5, 5S, 6S and the original SE.